transfer window so far for West Ham seems to be one that's there's so much happening. It's, the, the news always seems to be changing. We're always in the headlines. Every day there's something new, but not much is actually happening. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like when nothing's really coming to fruition. I've not seen anyone in a West Ham shirt yet. There's nothing, you know what I mean? But there's just continual changes in stories and the, things are coming out all the time and it's hard to keep up with it. And in actual fact, I was going to do a video solely talking about James Ward-Prowse and then some news came up about Conor Gallagher. Then some news about, it, it just kept coming. So I just thought, do you know what? We'll do a transfer news video let's just cover a few subjects because it's quite a lot going on um firstly i just want to quickly touch on something that we're, we're going to do a video about this separately and the reason i'm not talking about it in any sort of depth at the moment um is because i don't know enough about it and i haven't heard from xwh employee on this situation but there seems to be a bit of a noise coming out of the club at the moment regarding tim Stiderton. and um, this has come from 90 minutes and it was regarding um tim Stiderton being unhappy uh, at west ham um and the fact that he's struggling to work with David Moyes. And, and even this morning, there's been a further report saying that um, f- apparently a top source, as I say, I'm, this is, I'm just paraphrasing. I've, I've no idea really about this yet. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going off on basic off rumours that Tim Stiden's finding David Moyes hard work to work with, which is, this is not what we want to be hearing, is it? Let, let's be honest. It's, and, and that, but also at the same time, it's not, I'm not overly surprised. A really, really confusing situation at the moment developing at West Ham. I really hope it gets cleared up and we know where we are. I'm hoping it's all kind of not true and things are, they are working okay together, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's not. It, it does seem that we're in a, a strange, we're in strange waters at the moment at West Ham where we've brought in this new ideas, man. This guy's going to come in and find young, fresh players to come into the club. And then we've got, sort of like a, but he's working with a manager that's very old school, likes to say and everything. And, and clearly has very different views to that. So I don't think it's really surprising we are where we are in the transfer window. As I said, though, we're going to find out a bit more about that. I don't think we should be saying that as fact. That's definitely what's happening. But let's be honest, the way this window has been going so far, it would kind of make sense that there's problems behind the scenes. But let's wait and see, as I said. Um, Firstly, then, let's go on to James Ward-Prowse. This seems to be the one now that's really picking up the pace. Um. So where, where we are with James Will Prowse is, is that Southampton have uh, placed, placed a price tag on Will Prowse at uh, £40 million. We were quoted this a little while ago. XWH employee reported that we're very keen. He, David Moyes is a big admirer of Will Prowse, wants him in the club. We've I talked about it previously on the video. I actually do quite like the signing of James Will Prowse. I understand play, um, some fans' views on this in terms of the age situation. Bearing in mind, he's only 28. He's 29, I believe, in November. So he's still got a good few years of top-level football in him. So I don't, I'm not really bothered by the age. And I actually do think he would be a great addition to West Ham. I think that the way we play, we need a set-piece we're, we're set ba- um, set based team. We need to be good at our set-piece. And he is ideal for that, of his deliveries. He's free kick-taking. And mainly, as well, the, the big important thing is leadership. We've talked about this in terms of the captains before at West Ham. It, it, there isn't a standout captain at the moment at the club. There isn't. There's a few people that are being mooted for it. Creswell, but he looks like he's leaving. A Gerd, but again, there's doubts about that. So all I'm saying is there's no kind of standout captain. When Mark Noble left, Declan Rice stood out immediately. That was obvious choice. There's no obvious choice now. So for me, having someone that's been a captain for, for quite some time in the Premier League, play for England... I just think it's a good. I think it's a very good move for West Ham if we get this done. And I've got to be honest, I do think that that could happen. Now, the the update is that so Southampton want to um, want a, around forty million pound for the player. That's what they, how they price him. West Ham, I believe, have gone in for about twenty five million. Now, what we've well, the update from X is positive on James Ward Prowse. It's very positive actually. It's that that they've had initial talks with the club uh, between the club Southampton and West Ham, and the talks were very positive. And there's a belief that they can get this deal done. So that's very good. The other update as well that appears to be uh, coming out from this, this isn't quite quite factual yet from XWH employee, but it does appear to be the case. And many other reports are suggesting that James Walprouse wants to come to West Ham. He wants to move. Now, again, that's what we want. We want players that are eager to play for West Ham. So uh, very good news regarding this. And I'd actually go as far as saying I'd be very surprised if we don't get Walprouse this window now. I think they have to sell him. That's a fact. They're going to need to raise funds because they need to get out of uh, the championship. And the fact the player doesn't want to play there anymore. He wants to move on and go back to the Premier League. I think that West Ham are in quite a strong position with this one. And the fact the player wants to go. So I'm confident, actually, that something will come of this. 
as I said, leadership captain and the fact that he's a, yeah, let's be honest, a quality player, especially at dead ball situations. I, I think it will be a great addition to West Ham. I, I've got absolutely no problem with it. I do understand people have got some frust- uh, some doubts, but I think that if you look at his goal tra- contributions, last season he scored 11 goals and the season before that he scored 11, go- 11 goals. You, you, you know many West Ham midfielders that score those numbers. That's really decent. And you consider that as a, at Southampton, a side, you know, no disrespect to them, they've been really struggling for quite a while now, not just last season, but quite a few years, been knocking on that trap door. So I'm all for it. I think it'd be a great sign for West Ham. And, and it's one I genuinely believe will happen. Uh, so that that's a positive update. Um, next one I'm going to go on to is Conor Gallagher. So where we are with Conor Gallagher is that West Ham have effectively given a verbal offer of £40 million. Pounds. That's what we've been told uh, has happened. Chelsea, however, are holding out for 50. They believe he's worth that. I think that what X has reported is that what they're hoping for is a bit of a bidding war. Um, we know that very well. West Ham wanted for Rice. The the situation is that you've got Tottenham that are interested as well. You've got Newcastle, of course. Every player we seem to want, Newcastle want as well, but which is just unfortunately going to be the case now until they push on and become, say, an elite club. At the moment, they're always going to be sort of going for our kind of level players, a like Harvey Barnes and, 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 as we say, now going to Conor Gallagher. So they're hoping that other clubs are going to come in. The interesting thing that X did say is that Tottenham are considered the other main rival at the moment for Conor Gallagher. They really want to get him in. So I think they're losing Hoiberg this summer. Or they might have already lost him. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So they want to get Gallagher in. Now, apparently, the, the relations between Chelsea and Tottenham are not great. They don't really get on, um, and that could benefit West Ham. And whereas West Ham have a very strong relationship with Chelsea. Remember, we've got Emerson, we've had Kurt Zuma. We've done business with them before, and we get on quite well with them. So that's um, a very, very good uh, position to be in in terms of West Ham again another player I would love at West Ham I think would be excellent I, I actually find it quite strange people are getting turn their nose up at it um, I understand some people are getting a bit doubt of the valuation but I, I actually don't think £40 million for Conor Gallagher is a bad price but that's just my view personal I think he's a great player I mean you consider what he did at Crystal Palace for that season alone he was outstanding for them and he's looked great for Chelsea when he's played for them I think he's, looked, I think he's a really good player he's 23 as well considering that uh, and he, for me, he has the hallmarks of a great West Ham player. He fights, he battles, he scores goals. I just think he, I think he'd fit in great at West Ham. I really do, and someone I really like. Um, the update is, um, and this is the update. This is not from X. This is just general now news that, that West Ham are very confident in this move. They, they, they believe they're going to get Gallagher, and this is despite the rejection. My gut feeling is that West Ham will probably meet them in the middle. So we've got in at forty. They're saying fifty. I imagine somewhere in the middle will be met, and Chelsea will sell. Um, the only twist is, um, is this morning, there was reports come out. Well, it's not reports. It's actually statements from Mauricio Pochettino that he actually sees him as part of his plans. He said that he's having a great pre-season. He's really liked what he sees. And they're, they're planning for life with Conor Gallagher there. So that for us throw a little bit of a spanner in the works. However, you look at Chelsea, if, they, if they're the position they put themselves in with all this ridiculous spending they did last year, I think they're in a bit of a position where now they've got a new manager and he's got his own ideas. They need money, so they're going to need to sell. There's a lot of players leaving Chelsea, as we know. So I'm not so sure on whether that's true in what Pochettino is saying. I don't know. But as I said, West Ham are confident and they hope, and they hope that the talk, and the talks are actually continuing. X has reported that the talks are ongoing at the moment. As I said, I, I, I like Conor Gallagher. I'd like to know your views on this one. Um, and obviously, of course, James Ward Prowse. I, I personally think they like they both do great with West Ham. I really do. I, I like the idea of both. And um, yeah, quality, proven player, great energy scores goals and I just think we fit in I think fans would really take to him I think he'd be a great player great great player for West Ham uh, Conor Gallagher I'm referring to here and as I said James Will Prowse I'd be happy with um lastly I want to talk about Scott McTominay now much like the other two West Ham have put a verbal offer in I don't know what the figure was that West Ham put in but it appears that Manchester United have rejected that and the talks are ongoing so it's very very similar uh David Moyes is very very keen now the interesting thing is that the, that the Daily Mirror and I think a couple of others have now come out and said that Manchester United have quoted £40 million and apparently they're going no less than that. £40 million, pounds, uh, I mean, OK, that's one that I'm probably thinking, not sure. I actually really like McTominay, great player. I think he, uh, we talked about, I talked about him previously in the video. If you're at Manchester United for all these years, he's 26 he's, and he's consistently been at Manchester United. OK, he's not been a star player for them, but he's been a consistent for them. Always, always there, always on hand and, and has been available for them. And when he's played, he's done a good job. You don't play that length of time at a club like Manchester United and be a poor player. I think West Ham needs to remember this. I think I think he'd be a great addition to West Ham. Forty million, I can understand slightly. 
difficult because mainly because of our budget um, and the fact that he he is a bit part player at Manchester United. I think West Ham would, accept, would try to get that down. Now, I don't know what West Ham have offered. I don't really know. All we do know is that David Moyes is massively keen on this signing, a player that he really wants, obviously a fellow Scotsman as well. I've, I, I, these All these three players, OK, I, I know I'm gonna, I, I genuinely would be happy with all of them. I really would. I like the idea of Premier League experience. I know that you're paying over the odds. I, I do agree with that. When, and when we talk about Tim Stiton and his approach where he wants, um, sort of, you know, the pearl diver goes abroad and fires these sort of gems and, and, and gets uh, players like that, I, I'm all for that. But I do understand sometimes the need to have a bit of Premier League. We want to hit the ground running as well. We don't want to play too many gambles. I think you want to mix. Um, so, yeah, I, I, all, as I say, all three of these players I'm actually be quite pleased with at West Ham. And Scott McTominay, I'm not sure. I don't know whether West Ham would go as far as paying £40 million for him. But apparently he is a top target. My, my gut feeling is James Ward-Prowse will happen. I'm not I'm not convinced on that, that Gallagher will. I've just got this gut feeling it won't. But I, I hope it does. I really hope it does. But just, it's just my gut feeling. I just worry that... I don't know. Let's get the feeling that others are going to come in for him. I think he's a very, very good player. And I think if we want to get it done, we've got to get it done quickly. And let's be honest, that is not our forte, is it, West Ham? Getting business done quickly. We are dilly-dalliers and we know that. Uh, Final thoughts, as I've said, I'm happy with all of these players we've been linked with. I really am. I've got no real problem with it. McTominay price tag's probably a little bit too much. I think I'd rather be paying about 30, possibly 35 maybe. I don't really want to push into 40, but who knows? It might be well worth it. I do like the fact that he's he's a very good player. Premier League experience. And the fact that you know he does very well internationally as well as he for Scotland, he's I think their main player. I, I'd be I'd be very pleased with him at the club. Um, the confusing thing is, as I talked about earlier, is this Stiton situation and David Moyes because these are all David Moyes players, as far as I'm concerned. I can't imagine Tim Stiton rocked up and announced James Ward Prowse, Connor Gallagher, possibly Gallagher, maybe, but I doubt it. Um, Scott McTominay as these players, I just doubt, I just don't see that at all, and that does. I'm just confused. I'm really confused by what's going on at the club at the moment. I don't know what the strategy is. I don't think anyone does. I don't. Even, it, it was, it was like the club don't really know what they're doing. It, it, it's all over the place. A real mess at the moment. And we need to get some start getting some clarity of what's happening. Um, the Stiton issue, XWH employee, I'm sure will provide an update. Now, bearing in mind he's a, he's out of the country at the moment. He's in Canada, so and so difficult to reach. Way out of our time zones as well. I think he's eight hours behind wherever it is. So. I do understand that that's a bit that's going to be a bit of an issue, but I'm sure X will provide a bit more clarity of what's happening there. I really do hope to think that Sidon isn't unhappy and already considering his position. That'd be, I mean, if that is if that is proven true, that is catastrophic for West Ham and David David Sullivan and Moyes, really everyone involved. It's a shambles. I hope that's not the case, but no smoke about fire, isn't it? Really, these things do appear to be a bit of a problem. This does appear to be a stressful window and one that we're all sitting there scratching our heads, wondering where we're going with it, but. Look, we're going to provide more updates on this. And of course, once we get the clarity from XWH employee of what is exactly going on at the moment, what not only for transfers, but the Stiton situation, the approach and what's happening, we'll provide an, ad, uh, an, an update on that on this channel, of course. Um, but yeah, give me your thoughts as well on, the, cha- on the, the signings. But let's be honest now, we are now Wednesday. Recorded, I recorded on Monday saying I was getting frustrated and then this week we needed to deliver. Well, again, we don't appear any closer. Carlos Borges still hasn't signed. We're still up in the air. We're still inquiring. My word, things need to improve and fast.